mentioned the, earlier about the button at the very top concerning adding a fourth column. So we're going to click on that button and split the analysis window into two columns. Now with this uh, screen display for recording, it's a little narrow, but generally you're going to have a wider screen and uh, you can take a better advantage of, of the uh, splitting of the, of the analysis window. But now you have your tabs are split between the first and the second of the analysis window columns. And you can uh, then set these as, as you wish. I can take, for example, the cross-reference tab and say I want it in the first window. I can, I'm going to click with my mouse and drag it over and I'm going to drop it over here. So I can move it around. Now it's over here in my left column instead of my right column. So you can drag and drop. Now I can go also to my window at the, at the, or the hamburger button here at the top and I can go to analysis tab options. And here I can specify what do I want, what tabs do I want to appear when it's single column, what column, what tabs do I want the double column first, you know, the first double column and the second double column. Wow. And I can remove one. So if I do not want, for example, the, uh, the version the version tab, I'm just going to take and drag it over here. Those are the available ones I don't have in my other tabs. Now those tabs will not appear in the columns. And you can. Drag it, move it over here, wherever, wherever you wish, drop it in. Okay, so that, you can configure these things, and you can click apply, and okay. So you can configure those things. So if you have too many tabs there, you want to get rid of some, you, you can do that as well. That make sense? How did you get there again? Go up here to the, the, the button at the top, the, the hamburger button. Okay. And click on that, and the analysis tab options. Okay. And that, that brings up that window.